all the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Don't it, though? I'm just grateful that we're blessed beyond measure that we can understand what Lord Jesus Christ said in John 10, 10, that you will have life and have it more abundantly. See, Lord Jesus said it back then, gooder. Gooder, more abundantly. That's gooder right there, amen? And I'm just excited, hallelujah. How many, how many of y'all came in tonight heavy? Huh? Heavy, stressed out, right? Ain't that, ain't, ain't that just the way this world is? That's the, that's the job of this world. I, and I believe tonight that God Almighty, Father, Father God Almighty, say it with me, Daddy. Daddy. Daddy, hallelujah. Don't you love it when you know my Daddy loves me? Amen. Y'all do this with me. See, I love watching you, sis, with your babies because, my goodness, especially the tiny one, uh, it's just, it, you know, it just got a lock on you. You know what I mean? I, and I love that. I mean, that lock, that, that baby does, mm, you know, that's mine, right? And I pray that that's the way we are with daddy. See, I think sometimes we get too religious and too caught up with everything going on that we forget that he's our daddy and he loves us. That no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're stumbling with, no matter what you're tripping over, God loves you. And if you get through thinking that, man, you know what, no matter what I do, my daddy loves me. Now, guess what? It starts in the anointing that you're going to try to please daddy. That you're going to want to please him. How many of you want to please him? Hallelujah. And I promise you, and I love it, you got your feet up too and everything. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I pray in Jesus' name that as, as we worship in this next 20, 20 minutes or so, it's going to go really quick. Holy Spirit said that we're going to save the music uh, towards the end. And then Holy Spirit said that after that we are going to have our small groups. And praise God, the guys are excited because chairs are already set up. I mean, this, that's like the first time, on, <laughs> first time on a Tuesday it's like already set up. So apparently don't go over there. Um, but it's a special night because we also have baptisms tonight. Let's give God praise. Amen. And I thank Father God for Brother, Brother Adam's obedience. Uh, he texts me and... Man, I didn't even read your text to the fullest, brother, and Holy Spirit said, now. And so I'm just clicking with you that this is it. Y'all, let's say that together. This is it. The time is coming. Beloved family, the time is coming. Let's give God praise. Sister Hazel's here. Hallelujah. Man, I missed you, Sister Hazel. Praise the Lord. It's been like four years, but it's like we seen each other yesterday. Maybe we did at Walmart. Uh, no, you don't go to Walmart? Okay, yeah, we, we don't get crunchy at Walmart, right? <laughs> um, just a reminder, tomorrow morning, um, say it with me, 10 a.m. Say it with me, not here. At Fitness One, Trish is teaching her first yoga class, so keep her in prayer, okay? Keep her in prayer, amen? Listen, don't be, hate, don't be hating, just, just keep her in prayer. Keep her lifted up, all right? You don't need to do yoga. That's not part of the requirements to be here at Open Arms. You just need to love Jesus, Amen. Um, let's, uh, let's all stand up on our feet. We're going to open up in the Lord's Prayer like we always do on Tuesdays. And we're just going to get right into the service family. Once again, we say the Lord's Prayer because this is how he taught us how to pray. We don't say any other prayer and I am recovered. Amen. This all ties hand in hand and our Holy Spirit's going to teach us and bless us and do work in us and through us. I'm excited. Amen. Listen, as your pastor, as your brother, whatever label you gave me, I'm, I'm blessed, I'm grateful. I'm telling you this. I'm not leaving here the same. I'm not leaving. I'm going to leave gooder and gooder. Amen. Oh, so check this out, Brother Todd. Check this out. This is what I'm going to do. If you don't want your blessing in Jesus' name. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. There ain't nothing there. there. Ain't nothing there. You guys are quick on it, huh? I will take it. You know why? It's done paid for. It's done paid for. Amen. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven. a high five, praise God. Mm. Yeah. Sister Ashley almost got crunchy. I was like, yeah, give me a high five. You carry the blessing. You carry the blessing, the miracle, hallelujah.
carry the blessing. You carry the miracle. Hallelujah. Lord, help us. Hallelujah. So the distraction that's exposed in this step three, we're in step three right now. Step three is let go. When you focus on this letting go, letting go, let go of your past, let go of today. How many is with me? Can I get an amen? amen? Just let go of today, right? Praise God, we're here. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Remember, remember, like, remember we, we just said it's not too long ago, like playing tag, you're it, right? Or um, how, how does that go? You, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a hundred. That's how I count, right? And then, you know, and then you're supposed to tag somebody. And when you tag them, they're it, right? But guess what? You can't be it because you're here. Amen. Amen. So it's time to just go, ah. Oh. Can we do that? Can we do that for the Lord? Go, oh, like, ah. Oh. I believe we need moments like this, don't you? I mean, I'm just going to man up and say it right now. I mean, I, I need moments like this in, in true confession, in true worship unto God that, Father, forgive me. Forgive me, Father God. I need to have the right state of mind. I need to just let it go. Right? I'm not going to sing the Frozen song. I'm not. I was, it was at the tip of my tongue. It was, a tip, it was right there. It was right there, and I pulled it back. Come on now. Rib, ribeye's like, come on, let's do this. So, the, so the, this is what Holy Spirit loves to expose in a worshiper. This, this question, why can't I? How many of you have been in that season where you struggle with God and you're like, why can't I? Right? Why can't I get over this addiction? Why can't I get a, you know, a gooder marriage? Why can't I get along with my children? Why can't I? Right? Why can't I? Why can't, this, is the, this is what the devil wants to do as far as how you wrestle with yourself. I'm going to warn you right now, there ain't no such thing as wrestling with yourself. It's the devil trying to wrestle with you. You're either, you're either speaking to the devil or you're speaking to God. Can I get an amen? amen. Listen, I, I wish, I wish years ago someone would have told me this through Holy Spirit. That as a beloved child of God, we should only be having conversations with the Almighty One. Can I get an amen? amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. But sometimes, right, sometimes something happens. Sometimes we get challenged. Sometimes we get provoked, Right? Remember, that's what this world is designed to do. And it's those moments. How many of you have ever um, um, been at a party with a piñata? Dang, I'm pretty much blown away right now. I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm shocked that over half the room said, you for real? You all really know what a piñata is? <laughs> I'm from California, and so I'm just thinking that I got something special on you all. Everybody knows what a piñata is? Okay, all right. All right, so check this out. So a piñata, so a piñata, right? When you, right? Eventually, what come out of it? Amen. Now, hear my heart. Hear my heart. Hear my heart. What happens? Let me ask you something. May I ask you something? Listen, listen, Linda. Listen, listen, Linda. This is good. Come on, this is good. Stick with me on this one, okay? So we all said it. a piñata, right? What come out of it? Candy, right? Let me ask you something. Are you ready for this? Y'all ain't acting right. Are y'all ready for this? What happens? What happens if a devil or a demon does this to you and the blood of Jesus come out? think they'll ever touch you again? I'm just speaking the truth. I'm just speaking the truth. Don't rebuke the truth. Don't rebuke the truth. This is the truth. Can anything come against the blood of God? So the thing is, is that when we let go, you see the devil wants to have these conversations with you. Once again, you're either talking to the devil or you're talking to God. Bottom line. Oh, I just like to talk to myself. What you talking to yourself about? <laughs> Seriously. What good, do, what good does that do, right? What good does it do? Stop talking to yourself, quote, unquote, and talk to the Lord. Can I get an amen? This is why the advocate lives on the inside. This is why Lord Jesus Christ said, I need to go. 
It's far greater, it's far better, it's gooder that I leave so that my God, my daddy will live inside of you. We will make our house inside of you. Hallelujah. We will live inside of you. We will live inside of you. But my question to you is how can you be a child of God if you don't want to have a conversation with the Almighty One and you ignore Him and you want to talk to yourself? How can we do it? Say it with me, let go. This is one of the key things right now. I can't even move forward. I want to press this button and move forward. But this is one of the key things to receive breakthrough right now in a fresh anointing in your life. It ain't about you. It ain't about you. It ain't about your situation. It ain't about your circumstance. It ain't about how much money you got in the bank or how much. I hear my heart. It ain't. Now hear me. I know it's hard. I know it is. And I'm not discounting that in the season that you're in or what you're struggling with. I'm not. I'm, not, I'm never disrespecting you. I, I love you and I want to encourage you. But here I am trying to encourage you, telling you it is not about that. It's about you completely letting go and saying, Father God, I choose to meditate on who you are. That you are God Almighty and you love me. Amen. How many of you truly know that God loves you? Show your hands. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. This step is uh, let go. And this principle, once again, this principle, I cannot stress this enough. Say it with me, meditate. How many of you have actually caught yourself meditating on the wrong thing? I could lift up everything. How many of you would agree, and yes, I'd like to see your hand because Holy Spirit wants to see your confession. How many, would, how many of you would agree that when you meditate on that wrong thing, that wrong feeling starts to take over? Look, hands went up quickly, right? Hands went up quickly. And the beauty is, is that when everybody confesses this way, listen to how Holy Spirit teaches. I'm not the teacher. I'm worshiping with you. Amen. Holy Spirit's the one that's teaching us. Amen. So how much more positive, how much more gooder is it when we can choose to stop, let go of the world, let go, let go of that, listen, let go of that problem that, that happened at the grocery store. Let go of that, that person that looked at you sideways. You don't know what they're going through. You know what, so many people that just want to look crunchy these days. You know what I do? Right in the middle, right in, you mad, dog? See, we just did it right now. You were mad, dog. I mean, I just, what do you do? You, you had to just like either look away or just smile, right? Because you know, if we're gonna go, if, I mean, I mean, if we're gonna fight, because I mean, we're we're not in elementary no more. I used to do it in elementary. Like, what you looking at, man? You looking at me? And you start doing the chicken wing, right? <laughs> What's up with this, right? Right? That's the world we live in, right? Everybody's on, everybody's walking on eggshells. Why don't you just be the one that's like, look, I don't care how you look at me. I don't care what's going on. I love you. I love you. You know, God loves me and I love you. Isn't it so disrespectful of us that we try to drag our garbage into God's house and then we try to like sit on our garbage? Imagine this with me, that there's a pile of garbage, right, that you come in with. And Father God says, it's okay, you bring your garbage in. I'll take care of it. Just make sure that you throw it away. But why do we like to like put it in our seat, right, and just sit on it? And, you, and, and cover it up real nice, right? And, and then sit there. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's right, Pastor. You preach. My point is, what are we doing? Is that your relationship with God that you're going to be that fake? Or are you really going to just give it to the altar tonight? See, I'm the kind of brother that I just want to bless God. Not you, God. You know why? When I bless God, you'll be blessed. Can you get an amen? It ain't the other way around. If you come here because you expect to be blessed by me, you got, you're in the wrong place. But if you come here to worship Lord Jesus and allow Holy Spirit to, man, convict you. Say that word with me, conviction. I pray in Jesus' name that you feel the conviction. Where are you at with God? Huh? Where are you at with God? What was the last thing that you so said to him? What was, the, what was the last tone of your conversation? Was the tone filled with praises and thanksgiving? Or was the tone, why don't you do this for me? How come I can't do this? Well, look at me now. 
oh, look, I'm, I'm facing this again. You know, I'm doing this again. Listen, once again, I'm not, I'm not disrespecting you, but I'm saying right now, this devil got you twisted up thinking that you don't have the power when you have the power and authority to make a choice and start living the gooder and gooder life. Amen? Yeah. It's up to you. We all confessed earlier that when you, stat, when, 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 you, when you have that bad thought, it automatically just opens that door to garbage. Did you know that I can, I don't care who it is, did you know, I don't care who it is, this is, this is fact. Did you know that I can speak somebody either sick or I can speak somebody happy? Hear me, hear me family. You have the ability, the power. To speak a soul being like this, or you can just continue to just, and they'll, be, they'll walk away like this. And see, there's many of you right now that connected in that anointing right now. Why can't we be the ones to demonstrate this power and anointing in Holy Spirit? This power and anointing that I'm not going to allow this world, I'm not going to allow situations, I'm not going to allow circumstances to define my moment. He defined my eternal moment. Amen. Because he is my Lord, my Savior, brother Matt. Ain't nothing can come against me in Jesus' name. Nothing. Nothing. Well, pastor, what are you talking about? If a flame flew over us and dropped a bomb on you and you blew up to smithereens, that just took you out. No, it didn't. My very next breath, I'd be like, oh, hallelujah, how you doing, daddy, right? Hey, I'm telling you right now, you guys, we got to get this. This ain't life. This isn't it. So don't be too attached to it. Can I get an amen? amen? My goodness, Lord Jesus, help us. Praise God, we got some time left. All right, so this is a secular statement in the 12 steps. Made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood him. Amen? amen. How many of us heard that? Listen, I've been to many teen challenges, celebrate recovery. It's been an AA. I mean, right, Brother Todd? Many of us memorize this like the back of, Right? But remember, say with me, I am recovered. Oh, hallelujah. Be careful. Be careful, praise God. You say I am, you're calling on agape. The perfect love, amen. Who is agape? Can you break them up? No, you can't break them up. And this is what we have to say in I am recovered. I made a decision that I died in Christ. To turn our will, say this with me, repent. What does repent mean? I, come on, I hear all the perfect answers right now. I'm sorry, I'm done, I turn away, right? A big part of what Brother Adam is going through right now in this season right now is repentance. Am I, the, am I going to be the one to judge him based on the way he repents? Am I going to be the one to judge him based on his season and what he's going through? No. Am I charged by God Almighty through the Holy Spirit to love him and encourage him that he's doing? Amen, right? That's... That's how we're supposed to be, amen? Because my walk is not your walk, your walk is not my walk, amen? So don't judge me. If you ain't walked in my shoes, don't judge me, right? And you need to get that too, brother. Only God knows what you're going through and what he has pulled you out of, amen? You're going to have haters hate. You're going to have people talk. You're going to have Guess what? It doesn't matter. Because Jesus Christ is Lord, hallelujah. He owns us, hallelujah. We're one. I like that saying, you do you, right? You really do. That's the word. Joey Karangan version. When you work out your own salvation through fear and trembling, what does that mean? You do you. Right? I ain't going to worry about everybody else. I can't do nothing to change your mind. But I can worship with you and show you the truth in love. Amen? Amen. Say with me, our lives... Oh, let's say good or I am recovered. What are you saying to God? You're calling him out first. First and foremost, you're calling out on the great I am. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And you're making a statement. You're making a statement that I am recovered. This means that Lord Jesus Christ, you saved my soul. You confessed that I was lost and now I'm recovered. Amen. Hallelujah. Over to the care of God. Say it with me, Holy Spirit in me. 
How many of you truly believe that God lives in you through his Holy Spirit? I love it. I love it when I see all the hands go up. Praise God. You make the job so easy. Amen. So when you know that the care of God is alive inside of you, my question to you, and it's also going to carry some weight and conviction is, if you know that Holy Spirit now lives inside of you, will you allow to put poison into the temple? Will you allow to put evil in the temple? Right? I, I love it, beloved daughter of God. Quickly, praise God. And you hold on to that. You protect Holy Spirit that way. Amen? Now, hear my heart. There's some of us, yours truly, I throw myself under the bus, that as a Christian, I still played those games with God. And it almost took me out. By his mercy and grace, he didn't. He let, he let me stay here, praise God, hear that trumpet sound. Amen? But we, 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 need to, we need to let go real quickly of this thought. Quit thinking that you're alone. One of, the, one of the most number one things that the devil has to torment a soul is this lie and deception that they're alone. And could you imagine, could you imagine how that makes God feel? When you see what he's done through Christ. When you saw what Lord Jesus Christ, what he did on that cross for you and me, it wasn't just to show, it wasn't just to show you how much he loves you, it was so that his love would live inside of you, that his spirit would live inside of you. One of the hardest things to do as a Christian and as we, as we continue on in this journey as I am recovered in worship and in, in just fellowship is this, is that God is not an emotion. But here in my heart, we are emotional people. We are loving people. How many of you, how many of you does not want to be loved? Right? How many of you does not want to be hugged on and loved on and kissed on? Right? We're emotional people. But what we have to understand is God is not an emotion. God is a God of our emotions. But he's not in the emotion. He's a person. So this is a big thing that, that, that we have to really, really fight in order to move forward in our relationship with God is when somebody gets me angry, when someone offends me, or when something catches my eye and I know it's the devil trying to tempt me. Are you all listening to me? It could be another woman. It could be that drug. It could be the alcohol. Are you hearing me? You have to have the relationship with God Almighty knowing that, okay, I'm not alone in this temptation. I'm not alone in this distraction. God, I am your temple and you live inside of me. And I am not going to act like I am alone. I am going to act like your beloved child. How do you do that? How do you do that? How do you do that? Huh? Repentance, that's a powerful word, repentance. How do you repent? Huh? Go to the Lord. What else? On your knees? Amen. What else? Huh? Turn away? Right? These are all perfect answers. They, they, they are. They're all perfect answers. Would you like to see an example? Would you like to, one One person. Well, will you help me preach? You, many of you are looking at me. I mean, seriously, like you guys are like, dance, monkey, dance. What are you talking about? I ain't no monkey. Help me. Let's worship together. Do you, would you like to see an illustration, a demonstration, okay? So hear my heart. Hear my heart. You can go to Walmart, right? Listen, if you wear your pajamas at Walmart, let me lay hands on you and pray for you. Stop wearing your pajamas at Walmart. Can I get an Amen. There's a time and place for pajamas, and that's going night-night time. That's going night-night time. Can I get an amen? amen? But ain't nobody need to see your pajama bottoms with your underwear hanging out, okay? Here's my point. Let me stick to the story, okay? So I'm going to go to, I, I'm going to go to Walmart, get my stuff, right? I go down the aisle, and I see this lady wearing pajamas, and her underwear sticking out of her, right? 
I have right now, I have right now, Holy Spirit's anointing that he already told me right there. That's the devil's temptation. What are you going to do? Right? And see, many of you are right. Praise God. Many of you are right. So I do. Right away. I, I, I look down. Right? And that's, that's how I turn that cart real quick. Skirt. Leave a little mark on the, on the floor. Skirt. So, uh, so um, but let me, let me say something. Don't you judge me. Don't you judge me. I turn away and I'm walking away. Trish is out doing her own thing, right? Maybe getting cat food because we've been buying a lot of cat food lately. Anyways, I'm walking away, but I could still see the image. What do I do? That's exactly what I did. I, I, I saw the red thong, kind of like what I got on right now. Y'all didn't, <laughs> yeah, hey, y'all didn't need that image. Y'all didn't need that image. I'm just messing. I'm just messing. It's, I, I'm just messing. It ain't red. It's camo. It's camo. <laughs> like that made it better. So like my beloved wife said, I see the image still as I'm walking away. And I just say, Father God, I know you know what I saw. And that is your beloved daughter. And she's showing things that is making people fall, and she's calling in wolves. I pray, Father God, that she knows you, and if she does know you, that Holy Spirit, you would live in her, and that her value is protected and not shown uh, all over. And I said, Father, burn it out of my eyes. Burn it out of my eyes. Guess what happens? A couple aisles down, there it is again. Right? Skirt. Right? Because guess what? I don't need nothing that bad. Amen? The, 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 the tuna could wait. Right? The, the, the can of tuna could wait. And same thing happens. What I'm, what I'm proposing to you is, where is your relationship at with God? Because that happened the second time, and all I had to do was just thank God, and Father God gave me the peace and anointing, and I didn't see nothing. But where are you at with God? Is the same thing over and over again tripping you up? You're not an addict. You're not a pervert. You're not once a cheater, always a cheater. Rebuke that in Jesus' name. Can I get an amen? You're not. That is the devil's way to try to program you to have this hold on you. Remember, all he wants is that door to be cracked open just a little bit. And if you let him crack that door open, then you're always going to be facing the same demons over and over and over again. But in the name of Jesus Christ, is it real yet to you that there is a God that loves you and he went through the most ultimate pain and torture to love you. And to show you his love in one name, Jesus Christ. But hear my heart. Hallelujah. Let's give him praise. Amen. But hear my heart. This is where we fail as a church body. This is where we fail epically. That Father, I receive your love. And with your love, now I'm just going to go ahead and live my life of lust, of perversion, of filth, of garbage. But yet I'm going to call myself a Christian. You could feel, yeah, wolf. You could feel the anointing, and, right? Because Lord Jesus Christ, did he not say, oh, it's far greater for you that I go. Because I will send the comforter. I will send the advocate. Hallelujah. I will send Holy Spirit to live in you. And he will teach you. This is real, family. The question is, are you going to receive it? Or do you want to play games with God? One foot in, one foot out. Huh, one foot in. Oh, you know, God is so good. Everything's going so great and all that. Everything's just so wonderful. And then, oh, life just sucks. 
do you, do you not agree something's wrong? Because my God is good and perfect. Which means, hallelujah, yeah, let's, let's give him praise. Which means if that's the same God that you serve, if that's the same God that has control over you, if that's the same God who lives inside of you, then your life gets gooder and gooder and gooder and gooder. Amen. Stand up on your feet with me. Praise God. We got this one song. It's a short song. I'm going to ask you, will you make this moment the first moment? I believe in Christianity, we got so religious with God. Oh, I've been a Christian for 15 years. So? So? Where are you at right now? Can I get an amen? Where are you at right now? Because that's all that matters. Amen? Do you have a heart? Do you have a heart of God that you're, 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 just, you're just longing for him right now? See, I can't control that. Thank you for your obedience, brother. I cannot control that. But Holy Spirit right now is pulling and tugging on you and saying, come on, get right with me. Amen. Get right with me. Let me, let me love on you the way you want to be loved. Let me, let me shower you. Let me, let me just spoil you. Amen. I pray in Jesus' name. If that's you, come up.